Hey guys and welcome to my next Disney video. You will notice my hair is soaking and I'm out of the shower so I am going to go off and dry my hair while you watch number 10. Let's get started. Hi -ho, hi -ho. Sentinel, I'm going to carry on with the video. You'll notice each video, each half tennis is getting shorter. It started off at half an hour, now it's about 24 minutes. I'm trying to keep a, each bit in between as short as possible so that I don't bore you out of your mind. But yes, hi ho, the reason I chose this one is just the energy of it. And I think it's quite a good working so See them all working together and then, as you saw in the clip, when you can see W Street like he goes to the back and forgets and like, oh, flies in after it. I think it's, it's just a nice wee song and it's it's very upbeat, it's one of the nice Disney songs I think you just you could listen to, say when you're doing your homework or something. That's all I have to say about this one, let's move on to number 9. A dragon, a dragon, I swear I saw a dragon. A green and seething, fire breathing monster is in sight. With eyes of red, a lion's head, and wings as dark as night. Oh, he has a jaw of gleaming teeth, he's 50 feet in height. It's true, it's true, oh what are we to do? It's true, it's true, he'll break us all in two. Oh. Fun fact, Pig's Dragon was actually one of the last Disney films where they combined real filming with animation. But yeah, I saw a dragon, it's called, that song was called, in case you didn't pick up on it. Probably did. I love how, I thought obviously that no one believes what he's saying, I forget the character's name, sorry. But he, you, before he goes into that bar, he's been drinking a lot, so he's a bit drunk. So naturally they don't believe him. And you, you could tell probably by their faces, a lot of them were thinking, just go away, leave me alone. But I think if someone burst into a bar saying they just saw a dragon, your first thought would be clear off, you know, there's something wrong with you. But I think... But I think what's funny is it's how, just his paranoia, but the fact that, like, his, um, high energy compared with the other people in the bar, just like, what on earth are you on about? It's a good contract, it's very high energy, it is very funny. There's a, there is a point, for example, he looks at Wayne and there's, there's like a horse, I think it's Winnie in, and he screams his head off, it freaks him out so much. So it is a very funny song. Like I say, I'm not going to grill these too much. Let's move on to number eight. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop and that's what's bothering me. I want to be a man, man cub, and stroll right into town. And be just like the other men. I'm tired of walking around. Oh, ooby doo I want to be like you. I want to be like you. It's a very upbeat song. There's a wee bit of humour in it. And it basically shows King Louis' desire, he wants to be human, and I think it's... So, and essentially it shows ambition, like he wants... He's at the top, but he wants to get higher, and he just... It's almost in a way, I've just thought it's almost like highlighting human nature. You always, no matter what you get, you always want more. You could get the thing you want most in the world, you'd still want more. And that's what this highlights, but it highlights it in a very funny way. I think, um... And what's funny is... I'm noticing every single song that Mowgli's in. He starts off a bit sceptical and he doesn't like the person and then he's just like, you know, you're not so bad as I like, like you. Every single time, although maybe not with Cal, I don't really do it with Cal. But with a lot of them, you know, he does it. The Jungle Book is one of those so is one of those ones where the songs a lot of them are very upbeat, none of them are that dark or anything like that, because you kinda I mean, even the villain ones, I don't find them very dark. Like you have to really look into I suppose read between the lines to realise how sinister it really is. So with that one done, let's move on to number seven. The time that you and I arranged a heart to heart. The king so need advice from little horn bills for a star. If this is where the monarchy is headed, count me out. Out of service, out of Africa, I wouldn't hang about. Ah, child is getting wildly out of wind. one of the most popular Disney songs that I can think of. I just can't wait to be king. But if you watch Honest Trailers and you realise what essentially what Simba's really singing about, I'm not going to mention it here, you'll need to watch the Honest Trailers, you will realise it's maybe not as lighthearted as you think it might be. It's actually a little bit more sinister. I'm not going to ruin your childhood. <laughs> Probably already have. But yeah, it's a lovely upbeat song and I think what's really funny how is how I am, um, you know, Zazie's like the realist. He's going, you know, look, I'm just trying to keep, make you normal, you know. You're not going the way you're acting, you're not gonna be a good king. So it's like, yeah, clear up, go away, Sazi. I'm gonna do what I like. And he, I think in a way we see Simba's um 
ego. I, I think, yeah, he's quite a high ego at this point. He doesn't realise that being king's not all fun and games the way he sees it is. But it is one of the... It's Even though there are some quite dark scenes in The Lion King, this is a very beautiful scene. And what I love is, you know, the bright colours, the dancing, the singing and all. So let's move on to number six. Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wet and take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. While we're devoting full time to floating under the sea. <laughs> This one above, I just can't wait to be king, is because I suppose it's under the scene, it involves fish dancing instead of African animals. But this one is very similar to the Lion King, you know, it's brightly coloured, it's very lively, it's very upbeat. But I think what's funny about the end of this one is, because they're trying to get Ariel to stay under the sea, she clear it goes away anyway, so in a way they fail, I don't, but yeah, the reason I put it above, um, I just can't wait to be king was because it was under, it's underwater instead of above, so I'm just looking at my left here so I can see what number's next. We get it. I think we're moving through this quite quickly actually and this is going really well. Let's move on and see what number five is. Once a year we throw a party here in town. Once a year we turn all parties upside down. Every man's a king and every king's a clown. Once again it's topsy-turvy day. It's the day that the Molinos get released. It's the day we mock the pig and shark the priest. Everything is at the Disney films I've seen, this song is probably one of the most chaotic. I hated the song when I first saw it, but then it just grew on me. Like I have it on my phone, it's it's just one that grows on you. But that's what I love. I love the chaos of it, like the bright colours, the um upbeatness and it, it gets you excited. Even though when I first watched it I was focused on Cosimodo and I was like, What the fluff are you doing? Could you let him hide in the crowd? He's clearly a bit embarrassed, so I'm trying to <laughs> single him out, please. But um, yeah, Copas, basically, he was the one you saw singing there. He's trying to get the crowd energised in a way. It's almost like, the way he gets Cosimodo out of all, he's sort of like, it's almost, he seems to be like mentally saying, stop hiding, come out and, you know, join the crowd and all. But um, naturally, Cosimodo's a wee bit nervous on the one side. But yeah, the chaos of this song is brilliant. Uh, when you think of the song just before, I think the song just before was out there. It's a very sharp contrast. And I think that's why I love about it, just, and it's, it is one of those ones you get a bit fired up at, it gets your energy re rev revving. So anyway, now that we've seen this one, let's move on to number four. There's a smile in your heart, there's no better time to start. Think of all the joy you'll find, when you leave the world behind, and bid your kiss goodbye. I cannot think of any child who has not dream who did not dream of being able to fly. And I don't mean in a plane, I mean, you know, like you saw there. That's why I had to put this song as number four. It's not in the top three, just because it's not quite there for me. It's just not compared to these three that I'm about to that you're about to say, it's just not it's not quite hit the mark for me. It would if it wasn't in this list. It definitely would have got an honourable mention. It's what that's what, because it's because it touches on that childhood dream. That for me, that's what it made me made it deserve a place in this list. And it's a be it's just such a beautiful song. And in a way, the fact it's almost symbolic. In a way, it's saying if you say goodbye to your fears when you um, become content with yourself, you'll never you'll feel happiest. I mean, some people might say, "Eat that rubbish." That's the worst theory I've ever heard, but. That's just my view, but it's a beautiful song, and I think Peter Pan's one of the best, definitely one of the best Disney films out there. Right, we're now into the top three, so let's see number three. I will find my way. I can go the distance. I'll be there someday. If I can be strong, I know every mile will be worth my while. I would go most anywhere to feel like I belong. Since watching Hercules Go the Distance has got to be one of my favourite Disney songs of all time. It's not number, it was in the top three. I, truthfully, I think there's ones lower than it that maybe should be higher. But because it's one of my personal favourites, it's the top three. But it's still not quite there to be number one or even number two. It's a beautiful song because I think at the end of the day, everyone just wants to find somewhere they can call home, where they can belong. And that's what Hercules wants to do. 
he doesn't believe he belongs where he, do, where he is now. And he just wants to go and find it. He doesn't care where it is. He doesn't care how far he has to go. He will find it. And I think that everyone can relate to that. That's all I really want to say about this video. So let's move on to see the runner-up, number two. Just to live one day out there. Out there among the millers and the weavers and their wives. Through the roofs and gables I can see them. Every day they shout and scold and go about their lives. Heedless of the gift it is to be them. This should come as no surprise that I chose The Hunchback of Notre Dame as number two. Well, actually it should because normally The Hunchback of Notre Dame is number one. But Out There is actually my favourite Disney song of all time. But again, didn't want to put it The Hunchback of Notre Dame constantly as number one. So I was forced to put it at number two. But also, number one just beats it, I think. Just but, but very small amounts. I must, I'm going to give you a little confession here. Every time I watch it or listen to it, I sing along to it. It's just, it's an addictive song. But it's beautiful because when you watch the start, Frollo is saying to him, this world is evil, you have to stay in the bell tower because that's where you'll be safe. And Cosy's thinking, and I think he does, I think to an extent he's thinking, yeah, okay, okay, I'll go with that. But then he goes, you know, it's only one, it's only one day, I'm going to go anyway. And it's beautiful. And it really touches on society because everyone goes out as normal. They don't realise how lucky they are. Not even to look the way they are, but to be in the situation they're in. You know, food, roof over their heads, all that sort of things. So it really speaks about society. This is definitely a film that really challenges your thoughts on on today. Now, and if you watch the last video, you'll know where which ranking Quasimodo got on the, on the list of characters. Horse photo bomb. Now, anyways, but as always, you, you should know the drill by now. I'm not going to give number one right away. I'm going to give a clue. Here's your clue. Make sure you comment. Master! I don't think you quite realize what you've got here. So why don't you just ruminate whilst I illuminate the possibilities. As always, with every list there's always honourable mentions that just didn't quite make the cut. Flash that one up on the screen now, I think there's about five. There normally is. Let's take a few seconds. I think that should be enough time. Here's number one. Mr. Alanza, what will your pleasure be? Let me take your order, jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> Life is your restaurant and I'm your melody. Come on, whisper what it is you want. You ain't never had a friend like me. Yes, sir, we pride ourselves on service. You're the boss, the king, the shah. Friend like me, I think it had to take the first spot because, well, one, it's Robin Williams, who's a voice actor and it's incredible. But also, I love the bright colours, the way it, like, the move. Moves it and it's quite, it's just it's essentially just the genie showing off his power. That's the bottom line. That's what he's doing, and he's showing Aladdin that Aladdin doesn't seem aware of what kind of thing he has at his fingertips right now, and I think I love it because there is there's a lot of humour in it. It's brightly coloured, like I said, and this all takes place in a cave, and it's not even that big a space, yet it seems to fill almost an entire world of its own, which is incredible, and that's what I love about Friend Like Me. It's such a good song. So that's the end of my Disney. Disney songs video. Next week there'll be a Disney villains video. Now just before I go once again I asked you to leave some comments for me on what your favourite Disney songs were. I'm about to, I'll, we'll get down to my laptop and read out what they are. Okay so I've got my laptop here and now we're going to find out what some of your comments are. I'm actually very keen to read them. I received quite a few. Once again if I butcher your name which I probably will I'm very sorry. So Katie Lee Martin she said I'll make a man out of you from Mulan. Good, very good song. That I'm actually kind of sad it's not on the list. Sa Sammy Pudkonan, at last I see the light from Tangled. I have not seen Tangled for ages, so I haven't a clue what that song is, and I feel awful. Uh, Mari Marianne Antonio said Beauty and the Beast. I'm obviously from Beauty and the Beast. Really good song, that. Uh, so Sophia Venio, I'm sorry, I probably pronounced that wrong. Good Company from Oliver and Company. Good song. Um... Jessica de, Jessica de Flammer, I think, sorry I can't read, I can't read, it's really blurry, uh, so I probably pronounced that wrong, also said I'll make a man out of you from Mulan, and she also said Proud of Your Boy from Aladdin, I have heard that song, it, it's quite, it is good. Matt Lorimer Roberts said there's too many <laughs> to choose from, I agree with that completely, there are loads of good Disney songs. Um, You'll Be In My Heart from Tarzan, 
Bare Necessities from the Jungle Book and also I Want to Be Like You, which is on the list. Good choice. Tatiana Watkins said, I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan. That seems to be a very popular one. Uh, Shana Tiaran, I Want to Be Like You on the list. Good song. Let's see, what else? Bethany Spence said, You'll Be In My Heart by Phil Collins because it makes me cry every time. I feel really bad for not knowing what that is. I'm assuming that's from Tarzan. Camille... I'm sorry, I can't actually read this. The writing on my laptop is very blurry, so I may pronounce this wrong. Camille El- Elagin, I think it is. Her favourite song is Reflection from Mulan. Excellent song. Or I Won't Say I'm In Love from Hercules. It's nice to see a Hercules song, considering very few people mention it. That's all the comments I can find. Oh, I've just gone past one. Oh yeah, one person commented quite late. Um, Chris Thomas said, Baby Mine from Dumbo. Oh my goodness, that is such a tearjerker. It's a good song, that. Very good song. I think there's one more comment. Can't, unfortunately, I can't find the last one. Um, to the person who commented last, I'm very sorry I've lost your comment. But shout out to you all the same because I think it was a song that was on the list. I don't really don't remember what it was and I can't honestly cannot apologise enough. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, whatever it, everything you do on YouTube. And I will see you next time for the top 10 favourite Disney villain songs. And I'll see you next week.